Hey everybody. Um, so yesterday's movie, Day Nine's movie, I didn't have much to say about. Not that it was bad. I just I watched it. Didn't have much to say about it. It was called Digging Up the Marrow. It was directed by and starring Adam Green and Ray Wise. Uh, Ray Wise just starred. He didn't direct or anything. Um, it was okay. I can't say I hated it. It, it wasn't bad. It was just okay. Um, the makeup effects are really good. I'd recommend it if you like Adam Green. Otherwise, I don't have much more to say about that. Now, today's I did VHS Viral. All right, uh, Day Tens is VHS Viral. It's a 2014 film directed by various directors. I say that because there's Four stories, four different directors, four different things going on. Um, so with every other film like this, there's a bookend story. And sub-stories, okay? This one's bookend stories were... Um, this one's bookend story was about a boy. His girlfriend gets picked up by this van. And it wants him to upload all these viral videos that it is recording. Okay, so, um... Uh, I'm gonna go into the stories real quick. No major spoilers. Just, um... General premise of all. And then a rating for... Oh, yeah. Uh, for digging up the marrow, I give it a solid... Six out of ten. I like Adam Green. It's not the best Adam Green film, but it's it's not the worst ever. Um, so for VHS Viral, I'm going to give you a rating for every story, and from there I'm going to give you uh, an average rating, which is all the numbers added together divided by four. All right, so I'm going to give you an average rating. So it's possible 40 out of 40. Um, or possible 10 out of 10, I meant. So, there we go. The first story is about a magician. Um, it's actually very... It was, it was actually one, I went into it. It starts up, it's very much like a news thing. Documentary, and they're talking. Um... It had moments. It had a lot of good and bad moments. I don't. I didn't hate. Um, I actually know. In my opinion, it's probably it's probably my favorite of the four stories, including the bookends. I would get th this one. It's about a magician. Um, he finds this cloak, and this cloak gives him real magical powers. Pretty simple premise. Um, the cloak is real magic. It's I, I think it's something evil. It requires sacrifices uh, from people. So he he films all of his sacrifices. So you know it's going from there to there. Um. But all I know is that these illusions were done on stage, and I was there. I would lose my fucking mind. The illusions were cool. I like how, how they, they treated it. It was fun. This one's a solid 9 out of 10. It, it is a good story. I think it worked perfectly in this short little... The film's only eight, it's only an hour and 20 minutes long, so 20 minutes per short film. It's, it's good for a solid 20 minute short film. Beyond that, I don't think it works, so it works really well as 21. Um, and then there's a bit of the bookend. Which I will go into some more detail at the end of that. At the end of everything. But it's a book and piece between each of these stories. So there's a book and piece. To remind you of the overall story. Um, so. The second story I'm torn on. It has a lot of really great moments. I loved the concept. Okay, anything that has to do with. Okay, so, so the second story. Is about a guy. 
All right, and he he figures out he figures out how how to travel dimensions. Okay. It's really a cool concept, okay? Um, very cool idea. You know, he, he the, the thing opens and he sees another him from another universe. They s decide they're gonna swap dimensions for fifteen minutes, and that's that's the basic premise. Um. So the the two Earths are very similar, but they're not the same. Um, I love interdimensional theory. I love the idea of interdimensional beings. I love the idea of 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 us having other dimensions we can visit and whatnot. Okay, or dimensions being like ours. Um. So, the one male character lives in our world. We'll call it Earth-1. Okay? For the sake of brevity, we'll call this Earth-1. Okay? It's cool. Uh, it's the same world. He just happens to figure this out. Earth-2 is different. Okay? So Earth-1, I don't really have to explain much. Earth-2, this guy walks up and, you know, some he walks in, and there's this crazy picture on the wall. And, um... He doesn't know what it is. This guy from the other Earth walks up, and sees a picture of the main character and his wife, Mary. And he's like, what kind of place is this? Obviously, two different worlds, two different ideas of marriage and love. Um... So, Earth 2 turns out to be... A pagan world. I don't want to go beyond that. But I will say this. They do use the pagan world. As a beautiful setup for Freudian fears. Uh, for Freudian fears of human sexuality. You know. Uh, off the top of my head in Cabin Fever. When he's going to. Have fun with a young lady. And his intention is to. Stick some digits in an inappropriate area. And it turns out he sticks his digits into a hole in her leg. It's called the finger bang misfire. Um, it is a wonderful use of Freudian fears. Okay, and this does a similar thing, sort of. But different at the same time. It's complicated. It was complicated. Um, and then there's another book in piece. And then the third story. It's about some kids skateboarding. Um, it's well shot. I like, the, I like the idea of using cameras and GoPros on people to film this particular short film. Um, they traveled in Mexico. They come across an area. They skateboard there. It's during Dia de los Muertos, which if you don't know is Day of the Dead. Um, they pass a woman, she's speaking about something or another, no one knows what. And then she shows back up at the spot they're skateboarding at. There's all sorts of pagan symbols, turns out it's a ritual spot. It's got really cool makeup effects. Um, it's got really, really cool concept of filming it all from perspective of these boys and their skateboards. The acting is bad. The writing is bad. Everything is bad. So, oh yeah, so I want to give the second one. I'll give that a solid 8 out of 10. So that's 17 total out of a possible 40. So that's 17 total. This one, uh, the third story about the kids skateboarding, I can't give it above a 3. And the 3 is because of makeup effects. So that's 20 out of 40. That's how bad this is. And that's just three. Um, the bookend ends up, ends after the third one, right? Um, it, it's kind of cool. 
because it's, it, he's following the van. The van's doing circles around town. People are looking at phones, going nuts, killing themselves, dying. And he's following it. And there's little stories in there, and there's little moments in there. The best one has to do with this little Mexican family. It's really cool. But the actual part with this guy and making this viral video that they want him to upload, it's not very good. The sub stories are good. The sub stories are very cool. That story itself is not very good. So that gets probably a solid. I'll be nice and give it a 1 out of 10. So that's 21. 21 total. Um, so give me a second. I have to do the math real quick. So 21 divided by 4 equals. I will give it a solid 5 and a half stars out of 10. Um, the first story, the first story and second story are worth watching. The third story, skip. And skip the book and stories. They're not, they're not very good. Uh, there's not much to say about, about VHS Viral. Again, five point five and a half stars out of ten. Uh, that's, and what brings that up honestly is the first and second story. Uh, the third story is is terrible acting. It's not worth watching, and the final story is in the final story of the bookend, isn't enough to hold it together. I expect something like uh, Tales from the Dark Side of the Movie, where it's a little boy who's being told stories by a witch. That's a good. That's good. That's a good book, and that's good storytelling. But, yes, I recommend uh, Into the Marrow if you like Adam Green. I recommend, uh, I don't recommend VHS Viral. Uh, I do recall the first one mo moderately. I believe it also has an Adam Green piece in it. Um, The first one I remember being pretty decent, the second one being pretty okay. Third one is not good, not worth watching. Avoid it at all costs. Avoid it at all costs. Thanks for tuning in. I will catch you tomorrow with my next review. Bye.